<laughs> Our characters look around like, hold on, hold on, the world's buffering. Got to wait. Oh, I got f***ing loading screens. <laughs> I hate it when this happens. Every time I try I to go to the store. Skyrim. <laughs> I really need to increase my RAM. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, I, I, uh, my character oh, hits uh, hits tab and tries to check my ping. Lifesaver. It's adventures. We don't go to bed right away. We have a drink, right? Maybe. Yeah. Drinks cost money, though. Never really mind. Good. We have a man who owes us money, and he's missing. I think maybe we should focus on that before we get drunk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, I was, I was, I was, we we go back. Like and... We did a job. We just need to get paid. Yeah. Well, we're supposed and to all like this guy too. Separate ways, and I don't have to look at the disgusting little green men ever again. <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I I I turn around. I turn around, and with if with a very with a very dramatic flare, I turn around, bend over, and I fart in his general direction. Oh my god! So you turn uh, to face me, bend over, and then all right, I'm gonna wait. just like. If I, if I turn to face you and then bend over in such a way that I fart on you, I have got to be the most the most flexible goblin you have ever f***ing seen. It's like, pull that feet of off, Toby, weirdness off. Toby, you should off. probably roll for initiative just in case this fart doesn't turn into a sh**. Oh yeah, no, you heard <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, sure. Oh wait, 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 wait which uh, I guess it's like a what? messy fart. <laughs> Totally not on sh level, but you're pretty close. It was a nice, <laughs> wet, juicy one. I, le I lean over and ask him. Uh, so we have business with this um, Lenin. What can you tell me about her? Anything I need to worry about before we go and talk to her? Anything I need to be cautious of? One second. This uh, <laughs> ominous pause is not giving me a lot of hope. Just to be honest Turns about that out. one. <laughs> it's going on for like half a minute now. Oh, I'm starting to get really concerned. Yeah. Hold on, Lene, hold on. Lenine's a uh, pretty good folk. She she runs the trading post on the other side of town. She's been having some trouble with some goblins stealing her stuff, I believe. I'm, I'm whispering this to them. I was like, yeah, I, I absolutely bet Lenine would help fund our a little adventure. We kill two birds with one stone, save our friend, and get more money. So would you folks be interested in any rumor board? Yes. Uh, well, it'd be kind of rude to come in here, ask for information, and not, so I suppose we should. I lean on the counter and say, uh, so, what's you an keep like you doing it in, in, in like this? Well, that's a stupid oh my question, God. never mind. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, mate. So I think I might buy a bread loaf and a cheese hunk while I am roaming around gathering information from... I just Wait, imagine you taking the uh, hunk of bread, the hunk of meat, and the hunk of cheese, and like making a like a hunk of sandwich. <laughs> and, and, and everybody around you is just like blown away by this thing that you're creating. Like, no one <laughs> ever thought of that. <laughs> wow! <laughs> right, Fucking culinary master right here. A local wood carver stood up to the red brands a ten day ago, when they came by his shop and leered at his wife. The um. Ruffrans murdered him. Oh. Several townsfolk saw it happen. The Redbacks grabbed his body, and now his wife, daughter, and son have gone missing, too. Oh. And so that's all the information I got from last night. And people seem very concerned about what a sandwich is now, so... <laughs> 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 now, this is my character speaking. We could milk this fucker dry. So first thing we gotta do, we need to go talk to, uh... Lenin, we need to see if she can maybe sponsor our trip to go uh, recover some stolen goods and kind of get revenge for a lot of dead people, yeah? We can probably get that working. Uh, we need to talk to the, uh, the the town master, see if he can uh, like recruit us to go kill some orcs that are on the way. And uh, we should probably check out these um, these red... red um, what are they called? Red Brand. Red Brand, red yeah. Brand. yeah, yeah. And uh, see, uh, see what the hell's going on there, because that's... Uh, honestly, that's not even on our mission. I'm just curious. All right, so if we compile the facts about the red brands, Halia scares them so they don't bother the miners. They killed the woodworker, and we don't necessarily know that they kidnapped his wife and children. We just know they killed the woodworker and his wife and children, quote-unquote, disappeared. After they so showed up to Probably safe to assume. Also, they seem to be getting in, in due to some tunnel, is what you said? There, there was a tunnel that... I'm not sure if it, like, leads to their base or something like that, but there was a boy that found a tunnel and he almost got caught when he found it. I, I do want to say 
these 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 people showed up not that long ago and not that long ago people started disappearing and getting killed by goblins uh could be could be related that's all hmm. i'm just saying we're, if we, we can milk this fucker dry we already have two things we're doing for these people if they if they pay us for it we could probably get a third one out of it and it might be related so you know all right well there's a lot of stuff going on so we'll probably have to split up that's probably a bad idea let's do it um, I feel like we should all go and talk to Lenin right now because that's related um, to our meeting quest. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Get well, I see no nat 20s. Meteor hits the, the earth and everyone dies. <laughs> all right, so we're at the lion shield coster. So it costs a lion shield. One lion's shield. Right, gotcha. That's the, that's the entry fee. Okay, hanging yeah. above the front door of this modest trading post is a sign shaped like a wooden shield with a blue lion painted on it. All right, there's one. Their right there. representation of a lion is uh, astounding. I think you misread the sign. It's a lion shield. <laughs> oh no no no! You you misread the sign. It's uh it means that the shield you can ask it one question, but it always lies. Oh okay. Uh, I, thought <laughs> was, I thought it was Leon shield. I just like, I thought I thought that like our education system taught us better. <laughs> okay. Well. Okay. Well, uh, uh, my, yeah, we uh, my cheap joke is done. <laughs> we uh, Shall we, we go, uh, in? go in. Well, yeah. that was all in character, so at least we're building a rapport. We're uh, each other. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm quickly finding out. I am not going to like you at all. Which one? The pun makers. <laughs> Every single one of you. Don't worry. The feeling that is a... mutual. That was not a pun. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, we go into the lion shield. So you're greeted by Lenin. What? Hello, travelers. Is there any way hmm. I can help you? Well, there might be a way that we can help you. He looks yeah. at you with a little bit of suspicion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're right to be suspicious of a goblin. However, because this guy looks suspicious as hell. <laughs> we hear you've been having goblin, tro goblin trouble besides this guy being stupid I'm not, first of all, I'm not stupid well, I oversee cool. this shop um, you know, it's actually owned by the Lion Shields which as you know famous merchant company yeah, I did know yes, that yes, we did know, <laughs> yes yes <laughs> that is Lion that. Shields they, they ship goods to us and several other small settlements throughout the region, but uh we just keep getting hit hard with banditry. The uh, last caravan never arrived. Right. We suspect it was the goblins to the north. We we uh, might have seen the remnants of that shipment. Well, you guys <clears throat> do seem like an odd bunch, but you don't come across like those red bands, so... Hey. I will uh, take that as a compliment. <clears throat> I won't even sell my goods to them. So, hey, uh, about your goblin troubles, any chance you want to kind of uh, help uh, pitch in, maybe help sponsor a, an expedition to see if we can recover anything and uh, maybe stop your problems from continuing? Just out of the goodness of our heart. But we, like, we need to eat food, too, so, you know. I hate to ask you. I know it's a little bit tacky, but... God, even as I'm listening to this, I'd say no. <laughs> as much as I would Already. love to help we are pretty low on our supplies as it is mm. and besides that there's only so much authority i have to do as i please with this shop what oh. i can tell you though is that i can reward you if you can recover any of the goods that were stolen okay what kind of Sounds reward are we talking about i'm guessing monetary follow the conversation dude <laughs> do you want to roll for any kind of persuasion or yeah uh, i got a 17 plus it's plus two, so a total of nineteen. Never thought I'd be bar bargaining with a uh, with a goblin, but I guess this is just the kind of day and age we're in now. What I can tell you is that I have about fifty gold set aside for this sort of thing. Fair enough. Uh, I, I will. I can give you that much. We'll crest it once I come back with your shit. And don't worry, by the way, the best thing to kill goblins is another goblin. Just saying. I'm, 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 just, I'm just saying. It's not, it's not as bad as it sounds. Because they're all traitorous bastards. <laughs> just, just you know what? So That's not wrong. entirely wrong. I would sell my own mother for food. Granted, I've never seen that her, but... 
All right. So uh, thank you, Lenine. We'll uh, we'll go see what we can recover, and uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Doing. I'm waiting for the map to change. Okay. <laughs> oh, why am I a silly bastard? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> I look away and I look back and all of a sudden I'm a silly bastard. Oof. Oh, what? What? Oh, okay, it is grid. Okay, there it goes. I've poured myself a nice tasty rum and coke. What? I don't have any ginger beer. Rum and coke. I thought you said ramen coke. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> the actual yeah, yeah. fuck oh is ramen coke? Oh, you, know like you... So <laughs> you know how like you boil coke and it gets all syrupy? Uh, <laughs> do, do you, you want to do you boil back? soda? Wait, guys, guys, I think we'll be fine. We have the element of supplies. <laughs> <laughs> Following the goblin's trail, you come across a large cave in a hillside five miles from the scene of the ambush. <laughs> oh well, I guess we don't perceive whatever it is we're about to walk into. I'm just concerned that the part of the woods is covered up. Last time the part of the woods were covered up, there was fucking goblins in it. Uh, just remember, your character does not know that the woods are covered up. Yeah, to be fair, Sarah. <laughs> she sees she sees trees, and she's like, that shit's covered! <laughs> that's, that's her druid plant magic at work. <laughs> we should look around. We already Make did. Sure we, we already that did. We're not so. walking into an ambush and get. We've already you know, established that we can't see shit because Casey rolled a twenty-three. Yeah, he rolled a pretty high one, so we can't see very well. Yeah, there's nothing we can do about that. We're gonna have to just like accept whatever ambush happens. Because several mm -hmm. of you got too drunk last night. That wasn't me. I went to bed. I got a good night's sleep. We're in. Can I? 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 I look. And I'm not going I did, into, like, but I look into the cave right entrance. Here. Just join Toby or join. Uh... All right, hold on. Hold still. Freeze frame. <laughs> oh hey. What's your oh, passive on. perception? Oh, what's your passive perception? Yeah. Um, six. Sixteen. Dang. Okay. Yeah. So as you walk by, uh, you notice uh, the thing. What your elf eyes see? Push down, and you actually see. Two goblins who are laying down on planks of wood that are holding the brush down, uh, guarding the area. However, they seem to be sleeping. Mm. Oh. Can I yell to my colleagues to get the fuck over here? Well, do you, do you, no, don't, you don't yell. yell. Yeah. <laughs> You're fine. They're, they're, they're sound asleep, yeah. Are you going to motion for us to come? Yeah, I'm going to motion. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, second that motion. No. I'm going to... All right. Sneakity sneak can, all the way over I here. for stealth. All right, Toby. Um, what are you gonna do? Um, gonna so is, is is a stealth kill a thing in this? Casey? Not really, but um, they do have low enough health, and you pretty much. I mean, basically, you get advantage, and you automatically crit, uh, and you get your um, sneak attack. Yeah, sneak so. attack one. Okay, well, I'll do that. It's your time to shine, okay. Dapper, since you sucked so many balls last time. <laughs> Time for you. My character doesn't trust you guys enough to just hand over a pair of handcuffs. No, I'm telling you to get over here. Yeah, get the fuck over there. No, I'm mad, so. Yeah. Is that a one? <laughs> oh my god. You Did you handcuff yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Toby. Uh, Toby, roll 2d20s d uh, for your attack, please. 2d20s? Yeah, you have an advantage. Oh, right. Um, first one is... Second one is that. Alright. I'm gonna go with the higher one. I yeah, appreciate right. that. That'd be nice. What's your max damage, or what's your damage on a... On a rapier? Like, yeah, like your max, like what's your max... With uh... my sneak and stuff? Yeah. Anyways, so, your max damage is... 6 plus 8 plus 4. So, 18. 18, okay. That goblin is dead as shit. <laughs> was that able to be done silently, or does that wake up the other guy? Oh, no, you were guys. you were silent about it. However, Dagger dropped the handcuffs on the face of the goblin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, entirely my bad. Um, which, which has woken him up 
So, roll for initiative. Oh. <laughs> I thought these weighted dice were supposed to be in my favor. Now, to be fair, this goblin uh, did take one damage from that main cuff <laughs> landing on his face, so... Did I smack him in the face with the hilt of my axe? Oh, I forgot to add the modifier. Oh, oh hey! <laughs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, you just put his lights out. Just fucking coma. <laughs> so he's back to he's, he's back to sleep. <laughs> right. You cast sleep, but you're not a wizard. <laughs> I kneel on his chest and put my axe to his throat. You hear several loud, sickening pops as his chest cavity caves in. He no, falls down life. We're not, he's not the DM. Don't listen to him. <laughs> I ask him where the supplies that he stole are. Okay. I thought the most um... important was the guy who still owes us money. <laughs> <laughs> um, he said... Flies? You mean... Shiny... Shinies? Yes. Uh, oh, they're yeah. with... Clark. Clark has them. Okay, I, I, I've been down. I look the goblin right in the eyes. And I grab, I grab his handcuffed hands. I assume they're behind him, right? I was like, here's the thing. Hey, Toby. Toby. Yes. You can speak goblin. All oh, right, right, right. Well, I'll, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm still going to do what it is I'm saying. I was like, here's the thing. I'm going to start biting off your fingers until you start telling me what you want me to know. I'm going to start with this pointer right here, all right? So if you want to keep your fingers intact, you're going to talk to me, yeah? Did you just ask him to tell you what you want him to know? <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm loving that you, you want to be intimidating, but your English needs some work. <laughs> your, your goblin, goblin, goblin needs some work. He's speaking goblin. He's speaking his native language here. <laughs> <laughs> Unless maybe that's it. Maybe Toby's native language is common. I'm he's, he knows I'm goblin. Willing to bet that, that the goblin got the gist Australia. of what I was saying. How? Oh, wait, wait, are there any traps in this cave that we have to worry about? And well, I'm warning you, you better answer honestly, because if something happens to one of my friends, I'm going back here, and I'm biting off all your fingers and your toes. Uh, so can I communicate this to them? Yeah. Okay. He says well, someone named Clark, or maybe that's supposed to be Clark, set up a flood trap at the top of the cave. Uh, we They wait for the sound of the enemies, and then they make a big flood. So, uh, yeah, we all get a drowned. That's cool. We get to look forward to that. Okay, right, if we can find so... a way to trigger that trap without... Oh, hey, wait, are. wait, wait, okay, okay, on that note then, if it is related to this little river, he said it's kind of a dry river, right? Which means there might be a dam somewhere up higher that's been kind of blocking the flow of it, yeah? Oh, that would be true. Really cool. So if we follow the river, we might be able to find their little dam. Yeah, but this is also a rescue mission. If we flood the, if we flood the place... You know what? Yeah. That's an excellent point, because I completely forgot. Well, thank you for giving me your, your information. It's been really helpful. The uh, well, last thing we get, need to ask before we go... Um, hey, we're missing now. a friend of ours, and I need you to tell me where he is. Keep in mind, once again, your uh, appendages are at stake. Yep. King King Gruel. Chief. Krogmaw Castle. Is the castle this motherfucking cave? Clark got message from King Gruel a few days ago. So these goblins aren't acting alone. They're there's somebody else influencing them. Right. The me messenger told Black Spider paying. Kragmaws, watch out for dwarf. Capture, send him, send map. And Clark the map. All right. Followed orders. Dwarf delivered to Gruel. Yes. Dwarf human friend Gruel. in eating cave. In eating cave. Okay. So if we have a uh, two people. Uh... Okay. So just inside the cave mouth, a few uneven <laughs> stone steps lead up to a small dank chamber on the east side of the passage. Um, can I peek around the corner and check safely? Yeah. What Roll do I see? Stealth. 25. Yeah, that's a pretty good roll. You succeed. All right. Oh no, the blobs. <laughs> they okay. have boxes. Oh, they have like nice. food or something. Are they wolves with swords? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're swords with wolves. No. I've played um, Dark Souls. I know how this works. Cave narrows to a steep fissure at the far end and is filled with a stench of animals. Savage snarls and sounds of rattling chains greet your ears where two wolves are chained up just inside the opening. Vegetation can create an odd scent for an hour. I was going to make one of the wolves smell like raw meat, 
Oh. Oh my god. god. <laughs> that is that is bad. <laughs> it's awesome. All right. Are, are, are you casting your spell, or are we going with something else? Um, okay, I wanted to roll for animal handling. Yeah, I'll let Sarah way. handle animal handling. If that doesn't fail, if that doesn't work, then I'll try making one smell like the delicious fresh meat. I'll move out of the way here. Oh, that was an really 18. Cool. Yeah, Sarah. All right, 22. Um, I can tell you that's a good thing. Uh. <laughs> It's a good thing we have a DM to tell us that an 18 is a good roll. <laughs> <laughs> so I take a little bit of my rations and slowly walk into the cave. And try to befriend them. Alright. Alright. Uh, at first they start snarling and growling as you get closer, but when they see that you have food, they perk up and they eat the food from you and then they seem to tolerate your presence. I cast fresh digitation to make Sarah smell like raw meat. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm not sure what I should do now. Well, uh, just straight up, you, you, they, they don't consider you an enemy. They don't care about you now. You can walk right past them. They're not gonna react. Is Yay. there anything in this crevice over here? It's a narrow opening in the wall. Um, that leads to a natural chimney. It's about 30 feet high. Um, Can I climb it? Like like a chimney that's big enough for a goblin to climb? Yeah. Okay. It's filled with like trash and whatnot. It looks like people have been throwing trash down the hole. Okay. Um, um, I'm going to try to climb it. What do I roll for that? Um, acrobatics? Uh, athletics. Athletics. Toby's acrobatics are going to be higher than his athletics. If... You could use that. Can I free yeah, can, the dog? Can I, can I substitute acrobatics for that? Uh, yeah, you can. I'd like to free the dogs yeah. and tell them that they're free to leave the cave and <clears throat> live a long, healthy life. It's a good thing dogs speak common. Well, she's a druid, though. Yeah. I lean over to the bird and say, uh, it's, a, it's a good thing we have right. uh, one of Santa's little helpers on our team, so somebody can climb the chimney. <laughs> It's for for a job. I, 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 I make cocoa. I make a mental note to remember to shit on Dapper's bed before he goes to bed tonight. <laughs> so you release the wolves? I did release the wolves. Yeah. They um they seem to be just sticking by near you. Oh god. Yes. <laughs> <Sarah>. yes. <laughs> Sarah Sarah use polymerization, you can have a Cerberus. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, all I... <laughs> e Edward? Big brother. Joey! Three heads, one pet. I made friends! <clears throat> okay, uh, I, I rolled a 22 in acrobatics for climbing. You mean athletics? Yeah, that. N no, acrobatics. I said athletics. I know, I asked if I could substitute it, and you said yeah. Unless you were no, talking I to someone not. else. I was probably talking to somebody else. Ah. Ah, uh, 18. Damn. Three. You're fine. I'm out. You make it to the top. Um, I need to read ahead because yeah. So the dumb thing is, is that the stupid page in the book is like, here's what you do to climb it. Like if you don't do it, then this happens. It doesn't tell you what happens when you make it to the top. So I gotta go scroll ahead. <laughs> try to figure out. It's gonna say somewhere else. Like if someone climbs through, then do this. But it's yeah. All right, Toby. Yeah. Um. So you poke your head up through the chimney hole, right? Yeah, is he about to get lopped off? Hopefully. Here's what you see. Oh! <laughs> did we find Clark? Oh, I think we did. That, that icon looks different. Casey, Ooh, like we were playing is. earlier today and I started live streaming and all of a sudden I started hearing really loud, like not, not, not just into the mic. It was like, it sounded like it was coming from right here, like right in front of the mic. Yeah, and it was just like, crunches. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I don't know what he was eating. It was just like really loud crunch. Just like, you know, when you're far away from the mic and you hear someone crunch in, it sounds like one, one sound.
Mm. Right. Well, it's close enough to the mic that I can audibly hear like the five or six different crunches that make up a biting into a chip. Um, we're talking about me or Sarah because oh, I was talking about Casey. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, Casey's got a sensitivity so that we can actually hear him. That's the problem. Like, it's either we don't hear him or we hear everything. <laughs> 